Hi everyone, this is James, this is Eurovision Island, and this is Review in Two, where of course we have two minutes or less to talk about all the songs heading to the Eurovision Song Contest in Rotterdam this year. Before we get to today's song, please take a moment to make sure you are subscribed to our channel so you don't miss out on any future videos, because of course we are going to be covering all the songs that are heading to Rotterdam this year. And also, if you'd like to leave a like or a comment, please feel free to do so. So, without further ado, let's open up to Eurovision 2021. So next up we're moving across to Portugal, the Black Mamba and Love is on my side. Now since Portugal won Eurovision in 2017, I'd argue that they've actually been experimenting a lot more at the contest. Now some of you are probably thinking, well we've had some very sort of slow Fado inspired numbers, you know it sort of seems like a return to form really. But if you think Telemorveish was, well avant-garde one word for it, it was quite different. And I think this year Portugal are pushing boundaries again. For the first time ever they're sending a song completely in English, which I think is to be commended because they usually, you know, we usually get Portuguese and English, but this year completely in English. And yeah, vocally the singer has quite an interesting quality to his voice. It's sort of quite warbly. It stands out. It's distinct. Personally, I'm not sure yet how much I appreciate that, but it's again, it's different. I think the song, it's very soft, very orchestral, it's got beautiful melody underplaying it all. And this is where my biggest concern for it comes in. It's very sweet and inoffensive and constructed well, but sweet and inoffensive rarely does well at Eurovision. Now I think if you're sitting in Lisbon watching the sunset over the ocean, you've got your Georginia, you know, you're knocking that back, life is good, and I think this song would frame that moment beautifully. On a television show where you have three minutes to capture the attention of 180 million plus people and get them to vote for you, I wonder if this is a bit too slow and a bit too laid back to achieve that. The other thing that makes me concerned for Portugal is the fact that they're between Albania and Bulgaria. Albania, as we know, has a very dramatic, very powerful song, and Bulgaria, the last few years, have been doing very, very well at Eurovision, so I do worry for Portugal and their chances this year. Which is a shame because I always enjoy seeing countries push boundaries, try new things. But yeah, I think Portugal are going to have a bit of a fight this year, which is a real shame. So that was my review in two. Hope you enjoyed it. Just remember these videos are my personal comments and thoughts on songs influenced by my taste in music. If you want to get in touch, you can do so by the comments below. I'll be replying personally to all your comments in the coming weeks and months. So make sure you keep checking back to EurovisionIsland.net for all the goings on for Eurovision 2021. That's all for now. Take care, Europe. Thank you, and good night.